What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Pitching Ninja's Filthiest Pitches of the Day. Remember, before we get to those pitches, hit that subscribe button. Join Ninja Nation. You'll never regret it. And without further ado, here are my filthiest pitches of the day. I'm going to start with you, Darvish, who had nine strikeouts in seven innings, thanks to his fastball, his slider, and his splitter. And I love this on his ninth K when he gets absolutely fired up after this splitter. Maybe Darvish's fire will also burn those uniforms. Speaking of heat, Hunter Green had this 102 mile an hour fastball and these nasty sliders on his way to 6Ks in 5 innings. Now his overall outing wasn't great, but his stuff is elite and he's gaining valuable experience. Nathan Ivaldi was back from his injury and Nasty Nate had this nasty changeup and sinker for a sword. Jose Arquiti had 9 Ks in 6 and a third innings and had this pretty curveball. Ian Anderson had 5 strikeouts in 5 and a third innings thanks to his fastball, curveball, and changeup. Alex Wood had 7 strikeouts and no earned runs in 4 and 2 thirds innings thanks to his fastball, changeup, and slider. His ERA this season, a smoking 420. Speaking of 420, Zach Grinke must be high because here's his fastball at 88 miles an hour and then Grinky throws Springer a 90 mile an hour changeup. Yes, his changeup was two miles an hour faster than his fastball. And remember, it doesn't have to make sense if it's Zach Grinky. Robbie Ray had 12 strikeouts in six and two thirds innings, and at one point struck out five hitters in a row in this game. He's now fourth in all of baseball in strikeouts. And again, the big turnaround was him adding back his two seamer into his arsenal. He was a four seam slider guy, but adding the two seamer in gave hitters one more thing to think about. Clayton Kershaw had six strikeouts in eight one-hit innings. He took a perfect game into the eighth inning. He may have lost velocity on his fastball, but he's showing no signs of slowing down. He had these wicked sliders and this Cooperstown curve that brought Shohei Otani down to his knee. Bend the knee before the Cooperstown curve. Kershaw's ERA this season is now 2.13. Alec Manoa had six strikeouts in seven one-run innings, and his slider was in elite form. He had a White Castle special, and check out this overlay of his sinker and slider. This shows you why he is so tough to hit when his slider is on. Manoa now has a 2.28 ERA this year. Kyle Gibson had this filthy changeup, but he was really overshadowed by the spectacular pitching of Sandy Alcantara. Sandy had 12 Ks in eight innings, giving up only two runs. His sinker changeup mix was borderline unfair. In fact, he had most of his strikeouts on changeups, and that changeup tunnels really well with his two seamer. His changeup is ridiculous. Check out this 93 mile an hour changeup that just dives. And here's a three pitch overlay of Alcantara's two seamer, his changeup, and his slider. You can see the triangle of death. Sandy's ERA at the All-Star break, 176. And he has my vote for the best pitcher in baseball at the All-Star break. He's got to start the All-Star game, right? Or do you let Kershaw start since it's in Dodger Stadium and he's never started an All-Star game? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Now on to my filthiest relievers. Jose Alvarado had this filth k the side. Ryan Helsley had this 101 mile an hour fastball. Joe Kelly had this messing with timing changeup. Good old psycho Joe. Speaking of messing with timing, Wandy Peralta had this quick pitch after getting his signs from Pitchcom. Garrett Whitlock had these filthy changeups. Yeah, the one on Judge was low, but we're used to that already, right? John Schreiber had this filthy slider and was fired up. Ryan Brazier had clutch Ks. And my filthiest reliever on the night was Clay Holmes, who had these turbo sinkers and this overlay of his sinker and slider. Yeah, good luck. And now, my Pitching Ninja moment of zen. It's Shohei doing his Luis Garcia imitation. What is up, Ninja Nation? My pick of the day today is for Max Free to have 8Ks or more. Here's the current line. I expect Maximus to be in rare form today. It's 
his last start before the All-Star game, and 8K seemed doable to me. What would your pick of the day be?